there, and it's recording right now. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three, test, test, test. One, two, three, we're doing a test. One, two, three, we're doing a test. So we're pretty much. Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm gonna to bring in a camera. And uh, it, this camera is pretty awesome. It was sent to me, just to give you guys an information up front, it was sent to me by the vendor to take a look at it, and so far, I'm very impressed with it. It does some features that, you know, people wanna have these days, where you wanna monitor something. So say you leave for a trip and you have a dog or cat, you wanna keep an eye on them, this is a perfect way. Or you have a baby, this is a great thing for those, if you have a child in there, and you wanna see them in the crib, you can see movements, you could do all, you can move the camera to different directions. I'm gonna take a look at that features. And this is a great gift for the holidays that are coming up. So if you guys have any questions on this stuff, there's a lot of features that are available online too. Like you could have the Google Assistance and you could see the Amazon Alexa too, also too, so help you out. Uh, this is a great camera to just put around the house and keep an eye on your, on your house um, it has some great features and we're going to take a look at all the features that are included in here especially if you want to take a look at um if you want to keep an eye on some of your pets or your kids so we're going to take a look at it and see what you get all right first of all they give you the camera itself if you guys can see it it fits in your palm of your hand um really small and the movements are very simple uh, if you guys can see the camera can move 360 all view all around um, there's an audio speaker here that you could even hear or even talk back to the system because there's including the mic in the front and the speakers in the back. Uh, USB, uh, micro USB connection in the back too. And you are gonna need some online information. You're gonna need some actual uh, application. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that too. And they give you the actual connection here and a wall mount or a floor mount. So you can mount this anywhere. And then this automatically clips on the bottom. If you guys notice, there's two clips. It matches the whole thing. You can remove it. You can put it back in there, snap it in and put it back to you. So we're gonna take a look at it. And right now, if you guys can see, if you pick it up in the front, there's a reset button here. There's a micro SD card reader in here because this could go independently without any internet or anything. It could capture all that and you could come back and find out some more. But recommendation, get the online feature so you could remote into it, you could see the view it, and then you could do it on the cloud. They do sell services too also for that, but we're gonna take a look at some of the features. But first of all, let's go ahead and crank this up and see how well it works. So um, a great thing that you gotta be aware of is that you could get the application from the App Store, from the iOS iApp Store, or from the Droid Store. So very simple, just to put your phone in there and it'll take you automatically. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a picture of it. So we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of it. And if you guys can see it, I'm gonna put my phone here and it automatically found a link to it. So you hit that link and it's gonna take you to the store. View, Play Store. Now it's gonna take you and it tells you the application you require to actually control the system. So go ahead and install it. Once you install it, it's gonna ask you maybe to apply their services and see if you wanna, you know, you gotta register your services too. So we're gonna go ahead and install the application. Open the application. You do, and I always like to say while using the app only. And I allowed the speakers because I do wanna talk back to the system allowed if i want to make phone calls allowed to save into my system too so we're going to go ahead and um next 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 and then we're going to go ahead and register so we could either easily register or if you have an if you have an account with them you could log in so let's go ahead and do that all right we're going to plug it in for the first time we're going to plug in micro usb all right um we got the power going let's go ahead and do that and we're going to click it. We're going to go ahead and set it up. If you guys can see, there's a little red indication light, little light, tiny light. We're going to put it on the side here. And we're going to go ahead and add the app. Now that we register and we have the application, if you guys can see the actual bubble going, moving to different circles, uh, we're going to add the feature in here. We're going to add, we're going to add the device, my device. And it's going to ask you, which, which device do you currently have? You have to know which model do you have, right? So that's all right. Once you indicate your, what device you have, you click on it. It's going to ask you to reset the button. So hold the reset button for more than 10 seconds and enter and then let it go until the red light flash quickly. So it starts flashing quickly and then, um, it next, you're going to agree to the terms. 
and use the location it's x oh yeah put the wi-fi password okay now it's asking you to put the camera in front of the barcode so i could read it if you guys could see it there it goes found it it scanned it and i have heard the dd sound so that's pretty much what it tells you it's connecting to it right now and it's transferring connecting to three percent so it's going to transfer some of the firmware upgrade and now it's indicating green that it has found it so we continue and really it gives you an option to name it what do you want to name it we're going to put in here we're going to see what we can see right now if you can see you can actually see me on the actual camera itself it's 1080 it's not 4k right or 2k so but it's enough for it so now that we have the camera we're going to record some of it right and we're going to record into my phone and i'm going to move the feature a little bit actually i'm not even going to move it in my hand i'm actually going to move it remotely so we're going to move it if you guys can see it there and it's recording right now test one two three test one two three test 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 one two three we're doing a test one two three we're doing a test so we're pretty much so and the features they give you a lot of great features so you go do object tracking so look at that so this is a great feature i'm just moving around left to right and it's simple very simple now it has night vision so it could capture it at night too so it's really good at night too as, as a good quality too so i like that the feature it keeps following you and it follows my fingers too but it's pretty much any animal or any pet you want to capture you can, you can let the camera go now of course you don't have to worry about camera about running out batteries because it's completely plugged in we're going to turn off the object track object tracking night vision automatically camera ver verification wi-fi settings sound detected so the sound detect is a great feature for security if you especially have babies too if they're crying or anything the camera will automatically chart track the feature wherever the audio is coming from and then you're gonna you could get indication too so if you have this could be perfect for a side quip if you have a baby on the side or if you have an animal in distress or somebody that needs help this is perfect if you have elderly people there are and living by themselves so you want to keep an eye on it this might be a good babysitter for you too. you could be at work and watching your parents your elderly parents um, from a distance and if they have any questions and comments you can always respond to them through the actual mic too so all right we're going to do a testing recording here and i'm going to step a little further back because there's going to be some echo on it so we're going to go ahead and hit the the button you hit this button the actual phone and you could talk to anybody it's really loud especially if you have a dog or cat around there they're gonna hear it and also children and elderly they'll be able to listen pretty good so if you have any questions or any comments let me know i'm your host frank the tank and we're out